Hey everyone, Spark here. Today we have 17 new glitches in Super Mario Maker 2. If you have any glitches that you want me to show off in any of these videos, um, there's a link down in the description for my Discord. Go there and send the glitches to me, and I'd be happy to throw them into the video and give you credit. Uh, without further ado, let's go. Glitch number one. For all intents and purposes, you cannot get through this gap right here. I am soft locked unless I duck, jump, and spin. And I will bump up the P-switch like that and get through that little gap. Now, glitch number two, there's some weird interaction here with the muncher and the bomb. I'm going to throw the P-switch up like this. The P-switch activates and nothing really is crazy, right? However, if we jump up here and then I throw the P-switch up, because of added momentum, the bomb clips into the block a little bit and it kills the stack. Therefore, the bomb can go off into the sunset or something. I don't know. Glitch number three, we are going to clip the spring behind this bullet blaster with this setup. So all I really have to do is grab the spring and then duck when I'm close to the, the uh, note block and then just keep on dropping it. And eventually, as you see, it goes behind the blaster. So it's clipped behind the blaster, spring is no longer there. Glitch number four, we're going to clip through this bumper right here. There's a P-switch in this question mark block. I'm going to get as close as I can to the bumper and then duck jump when that's on the way down. P-switch will clip through the block like normal, but when it falls, it throws me through the bumper. Glitch number five, we're going to clip through this bumper as well. We're going to jump on this winged platform and then rest underneath the P-switch, and the P-switch will push us under and let us go. Glitch number six, this has been known for a little while, but that's okay. I haven't covered it yet, so I wanted to cover it. This spiny is going to travel all the way to the left. It's going to get stuck right here, and then it's going to warp up like an elevator to the top of this cannon. I'm gonna start over here so that it gets moving. I jump over and you'll see the spiny get stuck there and then warp up like that. A glitch number seven. Apparently this is another well-known little glitch but I haven't covered it yet. We did cover the idea with on-off trampolines and enemies and how it makes them walk as if they're going down a staircase in the slope. However, uh, we're gonna use uh, Mario as the victim here. We have a bouncer right here on this slope and so when you, when you unpause the screen it doesn't look like anything's crazy, so I'm going to slide down the slope and hopefully not die. And uh, apparently you can't do that. <laughs> Glitch number eight. There's some weird interaction here with the thwomp and the snake block. This is a common thing right here, putting a thwomp in this little gap. And the slopes will slide the thwomp over and glitch it into certain things. We use this in many different setups. So we're going to use it in uh, this setup with the snake block. So in this instance, when I release that snake block like that, it's going to warp the thwomp over to the left and then... It's free to slam down. A glitch 8.2. This is very, very similar to the previous glitch. If I remove one block from the snake block and start this, instead of warping the thwomp over to the left, it will actually just kill it for some reason. Rip. A glitch number nine. Similar setup to the last two. These slopes are going to push this thwomp up. This time we're going to hide an exclamation mark block. And I felt like this deserved its own glitch because it's kind of funny. So you would think, oh, I need to use this pow to uh, break the thwomp. By the way, the thwomp's teeth are now gr yellow. So, so I'm going to use this pow to kill the thwomp to get through this little gap. And, well, it kills me. Yikes. A glitch number 10, yet another unobtainable checkpoint. Spike ball is going to hit the hidden block as it lifts up a little bit. And apparently that protects the, the hitbox of the checkpoint. We can't even grab it. It's not even, like, grabbable. What a ruse. What a phony. Glitch number 11, we're going to yet again use this slope and thwomp uh, setup to glitch this thwomp up into this spot. This time, the thwomp is going to rapidly hit that on-off switch very, very quickly. And good luck getting past these unless you know how to do this jump. Whee! Glitch number 12, we can actually get in this door right here using a corner clip. So what I'm going to try to do is corner clip on this corner right here and slide to the wall a little bit. And if I do it correctly, we'll be able to land on that blue skull platform and open the door. And now I have to sit here and painstakingly try to get it. Wow, that wasn't actually that difficult. Glitch number 13. Using these platforms right here, we are going to clip these springs and these springs into these bill blasters right here. Sideways springs are going to poop the regular springs out to the side like that. But I guess you could have them just glitched in there if you want to. There are definitely ways to use this to dispense... Springs that you wouldn't otherwise know about. 
Glitch number 14, we're going to use these mushroom bounce platforms again, this time to clip a boom boom into a vine creeper right here, which can uh, have some interesting effects, as you'll see. Like a constant repeatable on off switch, and if you hit him and you damage him, he gets into this spin mode that he never comes out of. He'll just get stuck there. This could, inter this could lead to some interesting trolling and different things like that. Glitch number 15, this has probably been found before, but I give you cannons upside down on sloped conveyor belts. They will travel through one ways and blocks and start merging together. Jankiness. Nintendo, yo. You need to fix your game. Glitch number 16, who knew a boom boom, big boom boom can do a double jump, a jump in air, in mid air, without jumping on anything else. Check this out. Man, what an acrobat. Glitch number 17 with this setup right here, all of this, the spring and the burner is going to clip this thwomp through the P-blocks and it's going to land over here where the cursor is wiggling. Ready? Go! So it pushes it up and through and then the burner pushes it down and it's all the way over there. Glitch number 17.2, I extended the slope a little bit and made the burner follow back on its track. And you'll see the thwomp does go through the P-blocks but it goes through very, very slowly until eventually it pops over. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to see me do this stuff live, I do stream on Twitch. The link is down there in the description. Until next time, peace out.